In Ghana, wood carving started as a communal form of expression which was based on the ideas and ideals of a community or an ethnic group. Carving was done under the strict dictates of clan leaders, chiefs, religious leaders and other opinion leaders in the community. This did not allow for individual carvers to express their ideas and creativity. Nevertheless, carving is now a toast of many artists. This process of carving could be laborious. I'm doing some okay. How does long it does it take you for for you to have a smooth feel? Oh, just like uh, three hours. It is then coated with a preferred polish color, either brown or black polish, and then left in the sun to dry. For 35 years, Felix Bucci has lived off his craft. The 51-year-old said, The vocation spanning over three decades has been one of mixed results chiefly because of the plethora of challenges. You don't get any help from anywhere. We apply to the government to look about our work and help us now, up to today. But we are paying tax. When we need wood, unless we go to Bush, North Volta, we will find wood. When we are coming, the police go to the warriors for the road before we reach here. Meanwhile, the government knew that the work we are doing is getting something about the work. When the tourists come by the thing for here, they no carry it to their back. They are passing through harbor, through airport. The government they take tax. Butchery stressed the need for the crafters to be innovative in creating products that will appeal to people. So we are appealing to the government to look. If it can be possible, they will take some of us to the school campus and make some shop for us to be teaching the school children. End of the day, when the 500 Ghana, 600 Ghana, where they pay them, we can take support ourselves. Over the years, he has transferred his knowledge by teaching students in the secondary and tertiary schools. When we apply to come a, a lecturer for the big, big schools, school like university, school like polytech, and then the junior secondary schools, the first thing they ask is that we get qualification. Why we don't get any qualification about the wood carving? But they get teachers for the uh, art teachers for the schools. When them too, they don't know anything about carving. They just draw with blackboard to the children. The end of the day, they send them to us to come and make practical. The wood carving industry in Ghana has provided employment for a large number of people. From the felling of the tree to the creative work of designing, you will find carving such as drums, human figures, animal forms, among others. The prospects of the industry are endless. For GH1 News, Godwin Asidiba.